In the EPC method for the event-driven process chains, you are also able to um, use other constructs, more constructs than we described so far. So, for example, you are uh, able to enhance the data view or to bring the data view into the EPC diagram, such that you have some, some small relation to your data view, like some data object or some document you might need. You might also include aspects from the product or service view. That's a rectangle with a gray area inside. And that marks that you have a certain product or a certain reference, a certain service uh, uh, as a reference, and that you somehow um, include that in your uh, EPC model. You can include an organizational view. You're able to model a department with such an ellipsis, or you are able to model a certain job description or a certain employee, even a concrete deploy employee who is responsible in uh, for the for the function for performing a certain activity. And you also can refer to either uh, other systems, uh, application systems, which uh, somehow support a function or you can reference you can link to other models when the uh, when the model you have in front of you is maybe too large you can split them up in uh, different process models and you can then think about uh, a stronger structure of your business processes